Okay, this is part three of installing Arch Linux in VirtualBox. And uh, in part two, I made a slight error. Um, so if you want to go into super user, like your root account, you just type in su. Enter, and then type in the root password. Then I can arrow up. And I made a mistake in the VirtualBox config file. I haven't rebooted yet. And you have to change... I put VBox guest twice. It should be VBox video at the end. So I don't need to save that, but uh, make sure you have VBox video instead of VBox guest as the third entry. And then when you're done, you just type exit. Okay, now we have to decide on a desktop environment. Um, I have tried Cinnamon and I've tried Gnome Shell, and they don't work out too good, unfortunately, in VirtualBox. So I'm going to go with XFCE like I did the last time. And uh, all you have to do is just uh, sudo pacman-s xfce4. Type in your password. And just press enter for all. And lib, uh, the first one, Mesa, we want libgl. Press the one. And... 103 megabytes of download and 570 or so of uh, for um, once it's installed. So I'll pause this obviously and I'll be back when it's installed. Okay, back. Uh, that didn't take too long actually. Um, I want to make sure you have to make sure you have an x in it dot x in it rc file. I'm not sure if it's in here or not. So ls do an out list and list. And there it is there, um, .xnrc. So just do nano .xinitrc. And I want to make sure we're starting xfce4. So we just uncomment exec start xfce4. And then press control x, yes and enter and make sure that's writable so we'll do a ch mod we don't have to do a, a sudo because it's in our home folder so ch yeah ch mod plus x that's one way of doing uh, dot x in it rc and let's do that ls dash la again and as you can see, it's now changed color, which is good. Uh, so we have basically uh, XFCE is installed, okay? Uh, but you probably want to get the goodies. So it's so I can uh, so it's sudo pacman dash capital S XFCE four dash goodies. Uh, and your password and that's not too big uh, not too big to download actually uh, shouldn't take too long I can let this run or edit this part whatever that's fine I'll let it go Pretty quick. Now, when we issue start x, it sh we should be going into uh, our desktop. So start x, and the window is much larger now. I'm gonna zoom out a bit, and we'll use default configuration. And there we go. We now have a desktop environment. Uh, ready for you to customize. You can customize XS, XFCE a lot. Uh, it's really nice actually to work with. Uh, you can do things like change the date, format, go to properties, say if you want it uh, in seconds, in uh, 12 hour, or you can make it uh, you know different binary, <laughs> analog, fuzzy logic, LCD, 
which AM, PM, or whatever you wish. That's fine. So right now we just have a home folder. We have nothing else but desktop. You have to manually make uh, your documents folder and pictures, music, etc. folders, and you can drag them over into uh, bookmark area if you want. Now it doesn't look very nice right now, so let's open the terminal down here at the bottom. Yeah, I forgot to do this beforehand, but that's okay. Zoom in a bit. So sudo pacman dash s and ttf dash day deja password. Let's hope that's it. Yep. It should look a little better in a second. There we go. And uh, under applications, you got tons of settings. Go to Settings Manager. Um, you can do Appearance, Fonts. I like the, the hinting. Put it as slight. It looks a little better. So slight. There, that's better to me anyway. To my eyes. Lots of stuff you can do. You can install Compiz. It should work on VirtualBox, no problem. Uh, and you can look through all this sort of stuff. And let's do one more thing. Let's get uh, a browser. Doesn't matter. Your choice. Actually, Google. Actually, Google Chrome. No, you can't get. You can get Chromium through the Pac-Man, but you have to get Google Chrome through another package uh, environment. I'll show you in a sec. So, sudo pacman dash capital s fire fox and flash i think it's plug plug in or is it we'll see that's it yep so it's firefox 20 etc and uh, flash 11.2 Shouldn't take too long. It is fairly large download. After that, we have internet up and running. Then you can read about uh, installing different packages of your choice, a different browser, if you wish. Um, minimize that. And this little thing is home button, as you can see. Now we have Firefox installed. And it's kind of nice looking. You know, basic simple I like the uh, home button uh, as opposed to the default one that you always see okay so now we need a we need a graphical editor we don't have one so again it's uh, pseudo pac-man I think you get the idea now let's get leaf pad that's a really really lightweight I didn't have to open a new terminal I just realized that <laughs> Uh, so now we have LeafPad installed, and we want to want to add something to get extra stuff, like I said, Google Chrome or something. So it's a sudo. Now we don't have to use Nano anymore. We can use LeafPad. etc slash pacman dot c o n f. There it is. This is leaf pad, very straightforward. You can uh, option uh, edit. What am I doing here? Uh, wrap word. That's fine. Make this larger. And this is the Pac-Man configuration file. Zoom in. Press enter a couple of times. We want to put in square bracket square brackets inside arch linux f r okay and we're gonna have to use a sig level so i'm just gonna copy the sig level equals optional trust all so i'll just uh you know right click copy paste that in and the server address is server equals HTTP dot colon colon sorry sorry slash slash repo dot arch Linux 
dot f r a slash a dollar sign and arch and then press control and s to save and just control q to quit and now we're going to have to do a update that mirrorless so sudo pacman dash s y y let's hope that works there we go arch linux f R is updated. So now we're going to get a tool called Yao Art. Uh, that's really weird to pronounce. There you go. And yeah, let's get rsync. That's a good idea. R S Y N C. Okay. Now, if you want to look for something, Yao Art, Google dash chrome I think I would believe there it is there <clears throat> uh, you have options you have beta developer um, several light extension so if you want Google Chrome the I guess that's the latest one looks like a 26 you just type in the number one okay I'll, I'll go through this press enter after one it's gonna ask you if you want to edit the package um, if you type Y, um, it'll ask you for an editor. So let's do that anyway. You don't have to, but... And let's type in LeafPad. Mainly what you want to look for here is the architecture. So it's I-686 and 64-bit. Well, we know this will be, you know, usually this is pretty good, so that's fine. So it's going to ask you again, do you want to edit? No. So press N for no. Do you want to edit the install? No. Continue building. Why? Uh, press enter. And it should pull down Google Chrome. Okay. <laughs> the second I installed it, uh, I mean, paused it, it said uh, you're ready. So you press Y. Loading packages. It shouldn't take too much longer. And installing Google Chrome. And there we go. And if we give like little hints, you can try this like TTF Google Web Fonts. Just copy that. You see if it's in Pac Man. So you do a Pac Man. Oh, oh no, no, pseudo Pac Man dash capital S and then Control Shift and V. Paste that in. Okay, so you do the same thing, but Yawart comes in handy for this if it's there. Nope. Okay, so I don't know what it was talking about, but sometimes, or a lot of times, it does uh, whatever suggested, it finds it. Oh well. So, we'll just exit out of here, zoom out a bit, go to our applications menu, Internet, and now we have Google Chrome. There you go. Simple enough. Well, that was neat, neat little animation there. And I think the rest is up to you what you want to do. Um, like I said, you have choices. You can try uh, GNOME, GNOME, whatever, Shell, or you could try Cinnamon, but I didn't have any luck on my system with VirtualBox. Okay, so that's it. Uh, Arch Linux 2013, uh, May the, the 6th. And uh, hopefully you found this useful. Any comments, just uh, feel free to add them. I know I've made a few errors along the way. I'll try to annotate those as I'm going along editing the video. So that's it for now. And thank you so much for watching. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.